Hello, I am here with R. Warner from Cannabis Basics and Jeannie Cole Wells. Hi, ladies. Hi. So, I wanted to make sure that we got a chance to talk about the HABA bill. Please tell me what that is and what's what's going on with it. Do you want to go with that? <laughs> well, um, so the, the quick uh, synopsis is on June 30th, the original bill that um, Senator Cole Wells uh, Prime sponsored for me uh, was actually passed as an amendment to 2136, the, the 502 tax fixer. Didn't really matter how it passed, it passed, it is law. Governor <laughs> Inslee signed it into law and it went, went into effect on July 1st. And so basically what it means is that cannabis health and beauty aids that are less than 0.3% THC that you would not ingest and do not cause intoxication, we are now able to sell them at your normal like grocery store, spa, drug store, like Bartels being being one of them. Beautiful. That's a big deal. Huge that's, deal. That's a big deal. Congratulations, ladies, for thank making you. that happen. And I just, you know, I, I just can't thank Senator Cowells enough. I mean, really, this conversation started two years ago. I, I called her up and said, I, I need to come talk to you. I, ha I have an issue. And I and she was my, my senator for hmm. my district. 36 district, yes. Very nice. So 36 district, and um, she heard what I actually needed, and she's been my champion the whole way through, and so we got it done. You got it done, and I just, yeah. Yes? And I, I'd like to say, too, Ah is just a fabulous advocate for this legislation and is really able to help convince legislators and their staffs and the committee staff and lobbyists, just about everybody, could see the advantage of this and how rubbing a lotion that has under 0.3 THC is not going to cause them to get high, but it feels really good and it could have some therapeutic effects, you know, soaps, lotions, and so forth. It is, to me, a no-brainer. Right. It's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer. <laughs> and yeah. now, you know, my, my biggest thing was just making sure that everyone has access to these types of products. There is no reason why you would need to spay a, pay a special sin tax or have any kind of medical authorization to be able to buy these products. They should be everywhere. I would love to see the Remedy Pain Stick on, you know, on the countertop right in Ace Hardware. You know, people really love that product. They do. Mm -hmm. really, Good stuff. They really do. So thank you again, Senator Cole Wells. I mean, I definitely couldn't have done it without you. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you both for all the hard work that you have done for the cannabis, and have a great night. Thank you. Okay.